Welcome, everyone. I hope everyone's having a wonderful evening thus far, but this is a very exciting time for us. As you know, we're here for a very special reason, and that is to induct a number of students into our Phi Theta Kappa International Honor Society. This is our 27th one, so it's particularly significant for us because this is also the first one that we've done in person since 2019. I'm Interim Dean uh, Donna Bontadabas, and I'm very proud tonight to introduce to you a number of inductees into our Honor Society. I'll have a chance to talk a little bit about that in a few minutes. First and foremost, I do want to just introduce the members who are part of our party up here, so you get a chance to learn a little bit who they are this evening and a little bit about what we're doing. I'd like to introduce, first and foremost, our officer team. This is an incredible group of young people who have done so much to support uh, PTK chapter Phi Theta Cat Xi on our campus. First and foremost, what I'll do is I'll have you either stand or just wave a little bit so they know each one you are. First and foremost, I'd like to introduce our president, Isabella Merlini, our vice president, Olivia Merlini, our secretary, Jacob Goodman, our treasurer, Miles Groom, our marketing and public relations, Caitlin Hall, and our representative to our student senate, Amanda Frazier. This is an extraordinary group of people tonight, not only with our officers, but the members that we're going to induct in a few minutes. But I also would like to introduce a number of individuals who are also very pivotal to PTK in our college here at MXCC. First and foremost, I'd like to introduce our CEO, Kim Hogan. Our chair of our MXCC Foundation, Chris Dibble. and our co-advisors, Anton Pettiford and Lynn Lin. We also have one more co-advisor, uh, Londi House. She's unable to be here this evening, but she was also instrumental in ensuring that this ceremony got off the ground as well as we are. So even though Londi's not here, she is in our wishes and we're missing her, that's for sure, as a group. Before we get started, and, and we'll call some members of our group up to the podium to speak a little bit, I just want to share a few things about Phi Theta Kappa and the group of individuals that you'll have here tonight inducted into this International Honor Society. This is actually a very special honor for our students. It's an honor that recognizes, first and foremost, the level of academic achievement that they've incurred at Middlesex Community College. These are individuals who have A averages, right? In order to even be eligible for this honor society, they have to have an A average. And it's an average that they have to maintain after so many credits here at the college. And it's not easy. As many of you probably realize, it's simply not easy. In addition to keeping up with their academics, many of our students work outside of MXCC. They may have families, they may have extracurricular activities, they may have other commitments. So to maintain a balance and still excel in the level of their scholarship is really quite extraordinary, especially after the last two years because many of our students came here first and foremost during a pandemic. So this is extraordinary that we're at this moment today. So there's so much to celebrate. One of the things we mentioned earlier and that you've seen in our program is that this is, we're in our 27th year for PTK, which is wonderful. We're part of the New England region. There's a number of regions throughout the United States. And actually, our chapter is really well known in our region. And you'll learn a little bit more when Isabella speaks later today, later this evening, uh, about our chapter and some of the achievements. Our chapter in our region is actually considered a five-star one. Well, what does that mean? It means that our officers and our students who participate in PTK have engaged in a number of activities over the course of the year, or the last several years, with each group of new students that we have, 
that have engaged their fellowship, their scholarship, their leadership, and their service to the community. They've done a series of different activities. Sometimes you might hear them uh, referred to as college projects or honors in actions projects. These are areas where they're able to enhance some element of our college life for the students. And they're also able to connect with the community as well with different levels of service. This is significant because at the end of the academic year, one of the things our students do, well actually they did it back in January, is they write reports and submit reports on the extent of the work and the research and the service that they have done. And it was so extraordinary that they were able to won both regional and national awards. And that's significant because there's a, a number of chapters throughout New England in our United States. But this one is a special one because we've had students this past academic year be acknowledged for their distinguished officership, for their work in honors in action, for the types of themes that they've worked with. We're also part of the top 100 chapters. We're also considered a REACH chapter in terms of the number of membership that we've had. Our students have participated in a number of activities at our college that were particular to PTK. They ran a number of activities particular to college at our PTK meetings and events. They've also participated regionally. That is, they've attended conferences. This past year was the first time we've started doing it in person because the last two years were virtual. And that's significant. They've had a chance to meet other PTK members throughout New England, other officers. They've had a chance to uh, form relationships and friendships. Hopefully, that will be very lasting. And they've had a chance to do some professional development. But it's not just regionally, it's also national. We've had students this past academic year and some of our, our advisors who attended what is referred to as PTK Catalyst. It's basically a national, international convention. And this year it just happened to be in Colorado. This was the first one again in the last two years that's actually in person. What it does is provide the students a number of activities, workshops on professional development that really sort of engage their leadership skills, their, their their civic engagement skills or scholarship skills. It gives them chance to network with a variety of other students. It introduces them to a variety of different types of colleges through different fairs. So it's a wonderful opportunity for our students to really develop some really strong skill sets that they can take when they transfer to some four-year colleges because we do have students who transfer from this group or who go directly into the workplace. So it's, it's a wonderful opportunity for personal enrichment and that's very important for our students on any level. Even when they graduate our students and move on to the four-year colleges or go directly into the workplace, they still have an opportunity to be involved in PTK. And I hope our students this evening who are being inducted will take advantage of that at some point in their lives. And that organization is called NERA. It's the New England Regional Association. And it's basically alumni of PTK, individuals who've graduated from two-year colleges. They may have gone on to four-year colleges. They've gone on to get PhDs or doctorates, a a doctor degrees, anything. And what they do is they come back. They come back in their own organization, in the region, and they give back. They help with mentorships of some of our students. They help provide some of the workshops that our students have an opportunity to take at some of the conventions and conferences that the PTKs sponsor. And they help with employment opportunities too. They're a wonderful networking opportunity for our students. So once a student is inducted into PTK, it's lifelong. It's lifelong. And that's a wonderful activity to have because you could always go back and make further connections, which are lifelong. We, we love that piece of it. PTK also offers a number of other opportunities for our students, and I hope even if they move on beyond us that they still can take advantage of. With their lifelong membership, they have a chance to take advantage of some of the courses that PTK offers. Now, it's not a traditional three credit course that we have here or at other colleges. They're basically self-paced course online. They're modules that our students can go into and engage in different types of scholarship or leadership development. Maybe they need to strengthen some of their communication skills. They have a chance to do that. Maybe they have a chance to explore some career exploration skills. Or maybe they want to look at transfer skills, the skills in health and allied health sciences. So there's wonderful opportunities to go back and to really continue with that personal enrichment 
beyond us here at Middlesex Community College. Well, as you can say, I love PTK. It's a wonderful organization, and the students here tonight really are here to be celebrated for their wonderful achievements in maintaining the rigor of a curriculum that is quite challenging for them. We'll learn a little bit more about the ceremony in a few minutes, but I do want to call a few other people to the podium so you get a chance to learn a little bit about them and have them give greetings. First and foremost, I'd like to welcome um, Kim Hogan, our CEO, and I'm going to call her up to the podium to give greetings. Good evening. When I look out today, I um, want to welcome everyone to Middlesex Community College, um, especially those that uh, haven't been up here in a while because of our pandemic. Um, we are so delighted to have you here tonight. But I, I wonder, though, um, as I look out into the audience, we have our students that are sitting in the front row that are honor students. What does that mean to all the people that are back there, way out there, sitting far away? You guys want to move forward and be closer? Feel free. You want to take pictures? Feel free. I want to invite you up here. But I wanted to call attention to the fact that we have people here in our panel and people behind you to let you know that you have people to lean on and support you throughout your future endeavors. I realize that most of you um, are maybe graduating, coming up upon graduation, or will be around for a couple more semesters with us. And I hope that you look around and thank those that are behind you, your parents, your grandparents, your friends, your family, our colleagues that are in the audience, our faculty and staff, and my colleagues that are up here uh, on the podium, and realize that we are, couldn't be more proud of all of you. You, you are the, the pinnacle of a good student by getting great grades and being a part of our community. The honors, progr pro honors program um, that has been developed, I see two of our honors uh, faculty members and staff members out in the audience today, the program coordinators, they couldn't be more proud of you. We talk about it often. PTK is a wonderful showcase of the scholarship that occurs here at our college. So take a moment to thank those that are behind you, and I, and I want to take a moment to thank all of you for being an excellent student. <laughs> when we think about a ceremony like today, this is something you're going to remember forever. Cherish it. Smile. It's fun. This is a great place to be in your life to be able to come and be inducted into a society such as Phi Theta Kappa. For those that maybe haven't, you know, didn't think you can achieve the greatest goal, you did. You made it. You're here. And I commend you. Um, Donna, I want to thank you, Dr. Lin Lin, Anton, and Londi Howe, who is not here, for the tireless effort that you put through to be here for our students. Without the support that you guys provide to our students, we wouldn't be the college that we are. So I want to personally thank you and that commitment. I think it's been probably 10 years or so um, that you guys have been the, the, the coordinators of this club. Is that true? About 10 years? Maybe longer. That's a long time. <laughs> so thank you guys. All right, with that, I won't stop the ceremony any further. Um, Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being a part. And I look forward to working with all of you again in the future. Bye-bye. Thank you, CEO Hogan. Next, I'd like to, it's my pleasure to invite up Isabella Merlini, who's our president of PTK. Isabella, we're going to invite you to the podium for a welcome. Esteemed Middlesex Community College leaders, faculty, students, guests, Phi Theta Kappa members, and Phi Theta Kappa inductees, as president of Middlesex Community College's Beta Gamma Xi chapter of the Phi Theta Kappa International Honor Society, it is my great honor and privilege to warmly welcome each of you to this evening's prestigious induction ceremony. Tonight, we gather to honor and congratulate Middlesex Community College students whose exceptional academic performances have rightfully qualified them for the distinction of membership in Phi Theta Kappa. Attaining membership in an international honor society at the college level 
is a remarkable achievement and one of which should emanate great pride. To each of the Phi Theta Kappa inductees, I extend my most heartfelt congratulations. I will now share with all of you a true story of a seven-year-old student and her first day of second grade. After her teacher gave a warm introduction to the second grade class, her teacher gave the very first academic assignment of the year. The 28 second graders were to open their workbooks to the very first page and highlight everything that they thought was important. With her wide-tipped neon yellow highlighter firmly in her hand, the student took her teacher's instruction to heart. She highlighted everything that she thought was important. The entire page, corner to corner, top to bottom, front to back. There was not a single spot on that workbook page that was not neon yellow. By the time the student was done highlighting, the page in her workbook was unsalvageable, as proven by the fact that when her teacher disapprovingly tore it out of her workbook and held it up in front of the entire class, part of the paper broke off from the weight and saturation caused by the highlighter ink. If she could have that day, however, that student would have highlighted her entire workbook, all her other workbooks, her entire classroom, her classmates, her teacher, her playground, and her entire school building. Everything about school was important to her, and everything about school needed to be highlighted. That second grader was me, and while I have never so passionately and thoroughly used a highlighter as I did on my first day of second grade, I have and always will carry that highlighter with me in my heart and in my mind. On my first day of second grade, I was told to highlight everything that was important to me, and yet when I did, I felt humiliated by my teacher who did not understand me and my sincere intentions. That incident, as painful as it was in the moment, would, however, prove to be the most valuable lesson that I would gain that year. I learned that in life, there will always be those who will misunderstand and devalue what is important to you, those who will tear up your highlighted page and will throw it away. But I also learned that you have two choices, you can choose to put the cap on your highlighter and tuck it away forever, or you can let your highlighter ink flow infinitely from page to page and trust that one day, everything of importance to you will be illuminated. For our entire lives, each one of us has always had our very own highlighters in hand. With these highlighters, we have pinpointed and illuminated what is uniquely important to us, and with these highlighters, we will continue to do so for the rest of our lives. In life, we will find moments in which we pleasantly discover that our highlighters have joined paths with those of others, such as through Phi Theta Kappa, but we will also find moments where it seems as though our highlighters are somewhere far, far away, not only on a different page, but perhaps even on a different workbook. One thing, however, will always be certain. Regardless of what others say or do, you will always know what is important to you. Honor what speaks to you, even if it is just a whisper. Honor what catches your interest. Honor what intrigues you. Work to define why such things intrigue you and seek others who will help you articulate your interests. Express what is important to you. Use your highlighter and use it confidently. It is because of each of our highlighters that we gather together in celebration this evening. Our presence here is indicative of the fact that we have used our highlighters to collectively illuminate scholarship, leadership, service, and fellowship, the four pillars of Phi Theta Kappa. Existing Phi Theta Kappa members and Phi Theta Kappa inductees, you have demonstrated extraordinary dedication to your academic work and have proudly showcased your love of learning. Middlesex Community College leaders and faculty, you are inspirers, encouragers, and deliverers of wisdom who have guided the students being honored this evening to reach this recognition tonight. To everyone here, as a school community, we gather this evening in a show of support and great pride for the students who will be inducted into our Beta Gamma Xi chapter of Phi Theta Kappa. Phi Theta Kappa inductees, tonight we highlight you. Through your remarkable academic achievements at Middlesex Community College, you have earned a place within Phi Theta Kappa, the International Honor Society for Community Colleges that encompasses nearly 1,300 chapters across 11 nations 
and approximately 250,000 active members in the United States. Your induction into the Honor Society this evening is further distinguished by the fact that our chapter, Beta Gamma Xi, was named this year as the most distinguished chapter in New England and amongst the top 100 chapters in the entire Phi Theta Kappa International Honor Society. For this, each of you should be extremely proud. Upon the conclusion of the induction ceremony this evening, may Phi Theta Kappa always serve as one of the many highlighters in your ever-growing collection. As you continue with your studies and pursue the path towards both your professional and personal goals, may Phi Theta Kappa always illuminate and remind you of your remarkable achievements thus far, where they have brought you, and where they will lead you in the future. May your membership in Phi Theta Kappa connect you with the invaluable support system of our chapter's advisors, officers, and fellow members. With the support of our chapter's leaders and members, may you achieve your academic, professional, and personal goals. May your induction into the Beta Gamma Xi chapter of the Phi Theta Kappa International Honor Society this evening be just one of many achievements in your lives to come. I will leave you with this. Inspiration is a map to the person you want to become. Highlight the people, things, and concepts that inspire you, and allow the highlighter ink brightly illuminating your inspirations to always serve as a reminder to persevere. Phi Theta Kappa inductees, it is perseverance that is going <coughs> to a place within Phi Theta Kappa. May your induction into the Phi Theta Kappa International Honor Society always inspire you to continue highlighting what is important to you. Thank you. Thank you, Isabella. That was excellent, wasn't it? Yes. Wonderful job. Well, we're going to start our, our official ceremony portion in just a few moments. But for that, I'd like to invite our officers and our advisors to come up to the lectern. Honored CEOs, deans, foundation chair, advisors, guests, and fellow Phi Theta Kappa members, we are pleased to present to you these candidates for membership in our Honor Society. These students have fulfilled all requirements for membership and have been selected because they have chosen scholarship, leadership, service, and fellowship as their hallmarks. We recommend them for acceptance into the Beta Gamma Xi chapter of the Phi Theta Kappa International Honor Society. You are about to be inducted into a scholarly fellowship that embraces two-year colleges not only of your state, but of the nation and the world. This fellowship is Phi Theta Kappa, and your chapter is Beta Gamma Xi. After induction, you will find among uh, the members an atmosphere of scholarship to which you must give of yourself in order uh, that the organization may be meaningful to you. Our ideals may be expressed in the words of Robert Louis Stevenson. To be what we are and to become what we are capable of becoming is the only end of life. I have in my hand a torch, a symbol of knowledge. I have the white rose, a symbol of our newly formed intellectual friendship. The Phi Theta Kappa emblem consists of a golden slab keyed at the top and bottom. The gold fill symbolizes the golden opportunities for members to pursue academic excellence and to perform good works. Since gold is the most noble of metals, it also represents the nobility attained by those who achieve intellectual leadership. Across the slab, there is a black band. It represents the four ideals which band us together, scholarship, leadership, fellowship, and community service. 
Shining through the black background are three Greek letters, which are the initials of three Greek words, meaning wisdom, aspiration, and purity. Behind the band is a reef, on one side composed of oak leaves, and on the other, a laurel. The oak leaf stands for the stability and strength of character as symbolized by the sturdy oak. The graceful curling of leaves of the laurel signify achievement and success. And above the band is the representation of the head of Athena, the Greek goddess of wisdom. Maddie? Now that the standards and ideals of this organization have been fully revealed to you, you are ready to complete the pledge that admits you into complete fellowship. All right, I'm now going to ask that all officers please go back to their seats. And if all of the inductees would also please stand in front of their seats. So please repeat after me. I say your name. Do solemnly promise, Do solemnly promise. on this 28th of April, 2022, to uphold the standards of Phi Theta Kappa. And I do solemnly pledge allegiance to my fellow members and promise to aid them in all their endeavors. And now I'm going to ask everyone in the front row there to remain seated and if all of the officers who are currently standing to remain standing um, and all of you are going to come up uh, to the podium here and you're going to present the name cards that you wrote on and to be formally inducted. So we'll start with the officers first. Miles Groom. Olivia Merlini. Caitlin Hall. Amanda Frazier. Sydney Zerka, Zerka. Christina Paternostro. Laura Dobroet. Lacey Hall. Catherine Tukto. Lloyd. 
Andrea Churchill. Richard Sorawakoma. Congratulations to all of our inductees. So everybody goes back to their seats now, and we're calling up who? Yeah, everybody go. Everybody go back to Sorry, everyone go back to their seats. <laughs> Thank you, Lynn. All the inductees, please stand. It is our pleasure to welcome you into the Phi Sigma Kappa Honor Society and the lively fellowship it affords. We salute you for your accomplishments and charge you to explore always for truth and to dedicate yourselves to the cultivation of the well-reasoned life, a prelude to service and honor. Please sit. Thank you. So I would like to take this opportunity to honor the winner of the 2021 Distinguished Chapter, of Chapter Officer Award. This winner not only won the first place in New England region, but also won a National Distinguished Chapter Officer Award. So I have a medal. We brought this medal back from Aurora, Colorado, uh, where the Phi Sigma Kappa Catalyst Conference was held about three weeks ago. She unfortunately could not attend the conference in person, otherwise she would have received this on the stage. Um, the medal has distinguished chapter officer 2022 on one side and Phi Sigma Kappa Hallmark Award on the other. It's quite heavy and uh, she has been doing an amazing job leading our chapter. So this is for you. Uh, Isabella Malini, our chapter president. Yeah. Done. Well, another level of congratulations to our inductees. Again, this is very special. We're here really celebrating their academic achievements and that academic achievement is not easy to maintain, right? But we do appreciate that and we are here to honor you tonight. Before we, uh, as we move towards the close of our ceremony, there's a few more things that we would like to do. First and foremost, we'd like to share something with you that's called the Stole of Gratitude. It's actually a blue satin sash with the gold emblem of PTK. We've been awarding a few each year to individuals who have provided exceptional support to our students in general, but even our PTK students in particular. No matter what they do, what event, what activity, anything that we ask, these individuals wholeheartedly always volunteer. Even if it's late in the day, any hours on the weekend, what they do is quite extraordinary. There are three individuals that we at PTK would like to recognize this evening. The first individual that we'd like to recognize as a friend and an honoree of PTK is Dr. Sarah Hansen, who is our Associate Dean of Students. Dr. Hansen has been with us since 2014. Unfortunately, she's not here this evening and she sends her regrets but she also wants to say thank you to us as well, and she wanted us to, to, to kind of emphasize that. 
Dr. Hansen is a tireless supporter of our students. Anything that could make their lives better, whether it's in the classroom or outside the classroom, she's always tirelessly working to try to make that happen. She connects with so many different individuals on behalf of our students just to ensure that the quality of their life here on campus is a positive one. We'd like to recognize Dr. Hansen tonight. When she returns to campus, we're gonna be very happy to award her the stole of gratitude. This stole can be worn at graduation with the kind of regalia that we all wear or other events where academic regalia could be worn. It's actually quite beautiful. I also would like to recognize two additional individuals. Before I do that, I'm gonna call up our co-advisors, Dr. Lynn and Anton, to the podium. I'd like to call up Dr. Levy and Emily Canto to the podium as well. You can stand next to Lynn and Anton. We at PTK would truly like to thank the co-advisors of our incredible and stellar honors program. Dr. Levy and, and Counselor Emily Canto have done an extraordinary amount of work over the years to ensure our students, those who are stellar and really want to achieve academically and want to be challenged with great rigor, they have done an extraordinary job with the course planning that they've done, with the co-curricular activities that they've provided, with the different capstone projects that they encourage our students to participate. And many of them will be participating at an incredible event tomorrow called our Academic Convivian that focuses on the scholarship of our students. These individuals go above and beyond the call of duty in every way possible, just like Dr. Hansen. If we call on them to do a special activity above and beyond what they do on a daily basis, they incredibly do it and they do it with such pride we just are so grateful and thankful to them. Even more, many of our students here, even here this evening, come from our honors program. So these two individuals do an incredible amount of recruitment for PTK. And in fact, they're probably one of the reasons why we're considered a REACH chapter with the, the sheer number of students that we have. Even more because of the kind of work that they engage with our students in the classroom, they provide wonderful levels of scholarship enrichment for our students. So by the time they work on the projects for us at PTK, they have gone through great challenge in the classroom. They've become stellar students. And the skill sets that these two ladies have provided them will be inevitable as they carry them to their four-year colleges and hopefully even beyond if they choose to go on to master's or PhD programs or special uh, doctorate kinds of programs, but even more, they'll bring them into the workplace with the kind of critical thinking skills that we so sorely need all the time. So we want to say thank you to Emily and Andy, and both Lynn and Anton will present you tonight with the Stoles of Gratitude. You can sit down. Thank you. As again, this is to recognize individuals who have provided such support of PTK and our students and for their tireless effort in doing so. So thank you for that work. We are greatly appreciative of it. Tonight, before we move to our next, uh, next speaker, I also would like to recognize a faculty member who is retiring this, uh, this academic year. It is Professor Patty Raymond. Professor Raymond has been a longtime supporter of PTK long before we even came on the scene. Patty was PTK advisor for about 10 years and has done an extraordinary amount of work over the years. Um, and we just wanted to say thank you tonight. We will miss you, but you know you're always welcome back as an honorary PTK from here on in. Patty, I'd love you to come up to the podium for a moment. Thank you, Professor Raymond, for all your work on behalf of PTK over the years. And again, many of your students come from the business program as well, as we see tonight, so thank you for that recruitment as well. Next, I'd like to invite another special guest this evening, and that's Chris Dibble, 
Chris is our MXCC Foundation Chair. Our foundation is a nonprofit organization that really works tirelessly again on behalf of our college, but more importantly for our students, even our students here in this room, providing a variety of opportunities and focusing on, well, one aspect would be fundraising to help provide scholarships for our students, provide one-time or two-time grants to help students through some difficult times, and also provide some academic support for our faculty and staff who put together programs for our students. Chris is a uh, financial advisor for Morgan Stanley and Madison. Chris, I'd love for you to come up to the podium. All right, I uh, don't think I can top any remarks uh, that I've already heard tonight. Wow, just very impressive work. Um, and I did, it, you should be scared because there's two pieces here. Um, but I wrote it, I made the text very large, so. Uh, thank, thank you very much, Donna, Lynn, um, and the entire PTK Society. Um, and a big warm hello from the Middlesex Community College Foundation. So thank you for having me, it's an honor to be here. Um, congratulations to the new inductees uh, in the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society and to the family members, teachers, staff, administration, friends, colleagues and peers that have supported you to accomplish academic success. The mission of Phi Theta Kappa is to recognize the academic achievements of college students and to provide opportunities to grow as scholars and leaders. At the Community College Foundation, we have a similar mission to support the academic and educational activities at Middlesex Community College. Clearly, as new inductees, you have proven to be leaders among your peers and that you have a passion for learning and a desire to give back to the community. As a foundation, we look forward to collaborating with you um, and your entire chapter, working together to foster your educational experience and in support of the mission to grow scholastically and as a leader. So throughout the year, we offer opportunities to participate in exciting events, uh, namely the Grad Dash, which is coming up on May 21st, you can register online, and our Red Moon Gala, which will happen in the fall and is a great event. I encourage you to attend these events and uh, participate and keep the foundation um, in your thoughts and um, and your activities throughout your time at Middlesex and beyond. As an independent 501c3 nonprofit, we work alongside leadership, faculty, and staff, uh, as well as student representatives to understand the needs of the school, to identify gaps in funding, and to fill those gaps by working with philanthropic donors, community partners, and alumni alike. We provide scholarships for students and support programs like the Magic Food Bus, which provides access to nutrition uh, for students and community members on campus. And among many other programs, uh, we also provide some support to this chapter. Before I conclude, I will share my thoughts on leadership and I hope that these thoughts are helpful for you all. The foundation of leadership is made of three pillars. First, to be a leader is to be humble. Second, it is to be passionate. And third, it's to be compassionate. So first, humility isn't denying your strengths, but it's being honest about your weaknesses. Being humble will allow you to recognize the strengths of others and bring out the best in the folks you collaborate with. Second, passion will carry you to accomplish the demands of being a leader. If you follow what you're passionate about, others will see that and they'll want to follow you. When you're tired and you have to do the hard work that's required of you as a leader, passion is where you'll find your energy to complete those tasks. Uh, lastly, to be a leader means to be compassionate. Um, so you want to strive to see the world through others' perspectives. Leaders seek to first understand, then be understood. As a finance professional, I would be remiss if I did not conclude with an anecdote inspired by uh, one of the greatest investors in modern history, Warren Buffett. Our brains are like engines, and like engines, they require maintenance. 
If you don't maintain an engine properly over time, it will start to lose horsepower or worse. Uh, when we read, think, and learn, we are maintaining the engine that is our brain. And so continue striving for knowledge and learning, and your engine will have the highest possible horsepower. Congratulations again on your induction in the Beta Gamma, I'm gonna mess this one up, Shy. Chapter of the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. Thank you, Chris. We appreciate that. And we appreciate you taking the time to be with us here because it's very important for our students to recognize that much of the scholarship money is raised through our foundation and many other things, too. Well, we're about to provide some conclusion to this, but before we do so, I do want to provide one more round of applause for these wonderful students this evening to celebrate their successes. We do have some refreshments, and we're hoping that you'll stay and being able to enjoy some of them this evening. Before we do that, uh, you're welcome, we'd like to welcome up uh, to the front our inductees this evening. We'd love to be able to take a group picture of you. And we're fortunate to have a photographer here this evening that will be able to take that. Um, she'll provide direction. So we wanted to thank everyone officially for attending this evening. We appreciate your support of our students and how meaningful that is to their own success. And we want to provide a, a special thanks to the faculty and staff who are able to be here this evening to support our students and celebrate this wonderful night of being back in person for a PTK induction ceremony. Thank you, everyone. Have a nice evening. Inductees, come on up to the front for a picture, and the rest can start enjoying uh, the food that we have in back. Thank you, everyone. Have a good evening. Thank you.